Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to unpack my error code reader. It's an Opcom Volxcom error code reader for my Opel Meriva B. I've been having uh, intermittent check engine light come on and off over the years and the car is uh, not idling correctly at the traffic lights. So I gave in and bought not one, but two Opcom readers. And I found out that this is a very popular product, so to limit the amount of money, um, the, the cost to me, I always buy from China two of what I need, so I sell one, and uh, mine becomes a bit cheaper. So now I see that uh, the biggest complaint on in the reviews was uh, the breakage of the, the CD. And uh, nothing different happened to me. You can see both CDs are broken. And for a company that I've received hundreds of reviews claiming this, looks like they haven't yet adjusted their packaging method. But it's not too big of a problem because most of these softwares are already online downloadable. So let me keep one aside. That will go for sale. Usually, since I buy very cheap from China, the market price here in Europe should enable me to sell it for maybe 30 to 50% more at a fair price for those who don't want to wait for products arriving from China. And this way, my, um, my version then becomes 50 to 30% cheaper overall in price. The product looks good. The cable looks high quality. You can see the, the that filter magnet for data transfer cables. And I have a small Opcom sticker, so looks like they're going to put me to work to label my own product. And you can see the broken CD. So unfortunate. cable looks good so one end goes in there the other end goes into the computer and the opcom reader goes into the obd or db port let me just get you quickly the measurement of this uh, cable so it's around 77 centimeters around 154 centimeters in total when you multiply that by two i'm going to put on the screen uh, how many inches so I have a version of the firmware 1.7 this is a version that is um, guaranteed to work on my Opel Meriva 2011 model lower version firmwares only reduce uh, the age of the car so you get to only be able to read code from much older cars so let's stick this on the code reader and that's it, we are in business now. Let's quickly open it up and see if it's true the chip that uh, the company claims it should be. Okay, so four screws removed uh, gives me access to the PCB board, the printed circuit board, and it looks like this is a Nopcom version 5 revision board okay you can see Opcom 5 and this is a single sided board meaning all the components are up here at the front let me get you in very close and let's see if this is the the good programmable chip so with my Spectacle. Let me get you in close. Okay, so you can see the 18F458. So this is a programmable firmware chip. If you see a K instead of the F, I believe, I'm going to put on the screen if I'm wrong, then that is a chip that is not programmable. And so an inferior chip. Also, 
there is another chip here which should be FTDI chip and it looks like this is correct so let me show you now on screen the shop I bought it from you can see the price was 16 euros to me for each and Opcom 1.7 you can see on the picture here that it claims to be the PC PIC 18F for 458 and that is the exact chip that we got the FTDI chip also so looks like this is a chip that can be programmable to higher firm firmware versions 1.7 is the one I have at the, the moment and uh, I, I believe higher firmware versions will enable you to do much more complicated stuff with your car's electronic system. So the store I bought it from is Auto Top Store. And uh, it arrived in just one week. You can see from the tracking here. It was bought, it was shipped on the 24th. And it arrived around the 30th of, the, of July and I picked it up from the post office on the 2nd of August so this is actually a record of a speed in shipment when we're talking about AliExpress stuff okay guys so next obviously since the CD arrived broken uh, I emailed the, the seller and it got back quickly to me with a downloadable version and uh, now let's take a look at how to install the software onto Windows 8 to 10 uh, and enable this system to work. The, the seller recommends Windows 7 and Windows 7 runs smoothly, but uh, for convenience, my main laptop is Windows 8.1, so it would be nice to have the software running on that. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so to install the software, it's contained inside this CD. Obviously mine arrived broken. So what I did was to contact the seller, as you can see on screen. And uh, within a day, he sent me this link to download the, the contents of this CD. So download, direct download here. And then you get just download it to a folder on your computer. Here I have this folder called New Opcom CD, and I'm looking for the 2014, and this is the software here. So you simply just you accept. And you just continue to install as any usual CD, any normal CD. So here you can browse the location where you want it installed and then you install. But I'm not going to press this because I already have it installed. So I'm going to cancel that. And uh, once it's installed, you want to go navigate to the link and then you run as administrator, you accept, and it go it's going to load the window here. And now you want to connect this tool itself to a USB available on your computer. because we are going to basically test uh, that it's connects and the drivers are installed. For Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 8 upwards, um, the drivers are not usually easily found by this. And I'm going to link you right now to a video that uh, shows you exactly what to do in case uh, your drivers are not found on Windows 8. It's a, it's just a very good video and there is no need for me to repeat uh, that process. Anyway, once you've got this connected, 
using that what um, the details in that video then you want to go to settings and test interface and this is going to test the connection between this and uh, the software itself on windows 7 this usually happens almost instantaneously but on windows 8 to 10 there is this uh, time to wait okay so now the test was conducted successfully you can see the firmware version is 1.7 and um, that's it this is now ready to connect to your computer and it's ready to collect information from your car and send it to the software for analysis so we simply close go back and we navigate to the diagnostics page which is the page that we will begin diagnostics for uh, error codes and uh, any other thing that you want to do with your car's electronics so that's it and um, let me just wait a second while the diagnostics page loads and here it is unfortunately with uh, windows it upwards it's it's just not very responsive this software but with a, a bit of patience you should be able to get the info you want so you can see that the firmware version allows um, diagnosis up to 2014 cars so you could either automatically identify your car when you're in it connected to the odb port or you could simply choose your car's model your car's year and model. In my case, it's a Meriva B, but you can see a list of all the cars. So that's very interesting. Anyway, from here, you choose your engine. In this case, this is my engine here. And this page is going to come up where it's going to start scanning but in this case you have to be connected to the car to be able to get uh, data coming out of here you can see it's checking and here would have been listed the forward codes if you press this button here but we are not connected to the car in the next video i'm going to go down to the car and uh, finally um, take a look at what error codes my car is giving for the check engine light i hope this video helps you as always if you have questions just let me know i'll try to get back to you as quick as i can okay take care guys bye